catchy song. Um, I had this going in a YouTube mix the other day, and it just popped up. Never heard it before, and uh, sat down and figured it out. I love this kind of music. Um, never heard of this band, The Interrupters. I guess this song is from 2018. I don't know. I'm really behind on music. So um, it's real groovy. It's up-tempo. It's probably like 170 beats a minute. I got the metronome at 168 for the drum machine. So uh, it starts out doing these power chords to lead in. You can have a D, 755, A, D, G, to an A power chord, 577, E, A, D. And then immediately give it a muted smack, and then an upstroke on this B minor is going to be our first chord. 4 on D, 4 on G, 3 on B, 2 on E. Can't play them like this. Everything's moving by too quick to be able to... I mean, I suppose you could, you know, you could pull off anything if you sit there and work on it enough, but it's just a little easier to, to, to do it this way, I think. So, after your B minor, it's going to be four beats on each chord in the verse and in the intro. Or not the verse, in the chorus and in the intro. So you're just going to be doing a muted smack on a downstroke and then an upstroke with the chord. So that's the rhythm. You're just playing it really fast. All right. So after your B minor, you're going to go to G. 5, 4, 3, 3. Bar 3 on B and E. Okay. Do that for four beats. Then we're going to go to D major. 7 on G and B. 5 on high E. Sometimes I use my ring and pinky. Um, if, if you're going to do the vocal melody thing... That's not in the song, I'm just throwing it in there. You're going to want to use your uh, middle and ring finger before you use that. It'll just be easier to transition into the triad. So you have your B minor, G major, D major, and then we're going to go A major. 7 on D, 6 on G, B and E on 5. Alright, and then, um, so that's at the first part. When it starts opening the song, it's just a kick drum. And then the second time, you can end your D. Okay, then after you, instead of going to A here, go up to this triad, 9, 10, 9. Give it a 16th note strum. One, two, three, four. And then put your pinky down on 10 on E. And then play a B minor here. 9 on D, bar G, B, E on 7. Alright. And then the whole band kicks in. They start doing the ooh, oh, ooh, oh. And then it's just the same chords. Four beats each. B minor, G, D, A. One more time. Then they do this drum fill. That's what I'm trying to do on the guitar, just playing it by myself here. They do this drum fill. And then they kind of hit an A chord, it sounds like. So you could just hit open 2-2-2 two, 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 two if you want. Then they get into the verse. And the verse is the same chords as everything else. You're just playing them for eight beats instead of four. So you have your B minor, 4, 4, 3, 2. And we're going to slide into this G, right? You're going to mute. And instead of going that last upstroke, do the upstroke on an F sharp major chord, 4, 3, 2, 2. And we're not really playing it, we're just sliding into the G with it, right? It's just a passing tone. Okay. And then you're at G, eight beats. And then D. And A. Alright, the second time is all the same. back into
into the chorus after you finish A. You're going to do that power chord thing again from D to A. And that puts you back into the chorus. Alright, that's everything. That's the verse and the chorus. Now the chords are the same. You just have four bars for your intro and your chorus. And you have eight bars during your verses. And um, I had thought about, I was, I was doing this thing, but it just didn't sound good because it was moving by so fast where you could play two chords on uh, two beats each and you could go like a, uh, what is it, BG? And it just, it kind of get, gets lost in, in the speed of things, so I decided not to do that. And uh, what else we got? Oh, there's this little fill he does in the bridge. So he does this little thing. He goes, uh, da, 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 da. he just kind of picks it like 16th notes. So you go two on A to open A, and then go five on D, or five on A on that D note. And then he kind of hits these little chord stabs of each one that he lands on. So since we're landing on D, like here's your D major triad, we're just going to hit five and four together on A and D. So you, you can kind of palm mute this too. guess as to what it is, right? And then you're going to go 4 on D to 5 on D, back to 4 on D to 2 on D and then hit an A chord A, D, and G on 2 right, so you get Very funky, very catchy, just uh, practice slow and have fun.